Many of us have heard about the fantastic work that missionaries are doing around the world. And we here at Orchard have some amazing world mission partners like Nita Hansen in Ukraine, working with people with disabilities. And now since the war began, really helping everyone and anyone. Or like the Bates in Romania, changing lives through impact clubs and camping ministries and literacy programs and so much more. Or like Life Water, who are uh, bringing uh, clean water, sanitation and hygiene and the gospel to places in the world where those things are, are often not available or are unknown. And when we hear these wonderful things that missionaries are doing around the world, we often are, are impressed and we should be because it's a hard thing to go to a foreign place and to seek to serve God there. But a truth that we often forget is that God wants to use all of us, not just overseas minister mi missionaries. And when we do remember that, the truth is we often think kind of small. We think, well, maybe I should sign up to help in this ministry in my church, or maybe I should volunteer for that mission project in my community. And those are great things. Don't get me wrong. Don't stop doing those things. They have a real impact on the world. It's just that God wants more from us than a few hours here and there. You see, God wants all of your time, um, wherever you are, whatever it is that you're doing, not just a few hours here and there when you sign up to help in a particular ministry. Listen to these words from Colossians 3.17. It says this, and whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of our Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. This means just what it says, whatever, wherever you are, whatever it is that you do, however you spend your time, do it in Jesus name, mindful of him, seeking to serve him in that thing at your job or at school, um, working hard and doing a good job uh, for him in his name, trying to treat the people that you have at your work or at school um, the way Jesus would, having integrity in what you do, being an encourager to others, speaking words of hope, maybe even speaking words of faith in those moments where it's appropriate to do so. Um, maybe you're at home with your kids or grandkids. It's loving them with the love of Christ and teaching them to know Jesus and to live in his way. His way. Maybe you're retired and it's for you um, being a help and a support to your friends and neighbors and letting your words and your deeds shine the light of Christ into their lives. And again, God wants to use us, every one of us, right where we are in the midst of whatever it is that we do, however we spend our time. And the more we look for God to do that, the more we tend to see the opportunities. So how can God use you right here, right now, in whatever you're doing in your life?